Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 200. In 97, and today is our lesson number 193. Problem number 10 is what we're going to do today. Yesterday, yesterday's video, problem number 9, yesterday's video dealt with the concept of combination. Today's, uh, today's problem, on the other hand, has both parts. Part A of today's problem deals with permutation, and part B deals with combination. And if you're still confused as to what these concepts, and what these concepts entail, and how to tell the difference between one and the other. And if you have already watched this video once or twice, go back and watch it again if you're still not clear. And if you have not watched them at all, go back and watch from the very beginning, day number 57. Just type in revised GRE math, day 57. This is 193. Day 57 and 58. I spent an hour talking about these concepts, which, which is the problem number 7 on page 157. Day 57, 58. Also, you will find it fruitful to watch yesterday's video if you have not watched it already day 192 when we solved problem number 9 which is yesterday's video which deals with combination here's, a, here's today's problem it says we have 8 contestant we have 8 cont contestant prizes, prizes are to be awarded for first, second and third prize without ties, there are no ties we're going to award prizes for first, second and third prize the question is very simple, very straightforward how many different ways awards can be given? How many different ways awards can be given? Now this is, a, this is where you have to decide from reading the problem and from the context of the problem you have to decide whether we're dealing with permutation or combination. Remember, here's, here's, here's the mnemonic. You understand what mnemonic means? The word here is mnemonic. It starts with M. M is silent. M is not to be pronounced. M and E. M O N I C. Mnemonic. Mnemonic device I'm digressing here. Mnemonic device uh, is a memory device. It's something that you make up to remember something. A lot of, lot of people uh, make up uh, mnemonic devices to remember different things. The most famous example that I hear of when I ask somebody, can you give me an example of a mnemonic? They would give me this one. In the, in the US, uh, the, the kids are taught uh, PEMDAS, uh, which stands for Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, which gives you the order, order of operation in the math. You do the parentheses, then the exponents, then the multiplication, then division, then addition, and then subtraction. So it helps you remember the order, uh, order of operation. It's a mnemonic device. It's a memory device. Here's a, here's a mnemonic for how to, keep the, how, how to keep the combination and permutation separate. Just remember, permutation, permutation permits repetition. Permit, permutation permits repetition. Which is exactly what's going to, which is going to go on here. Here's what's going to go on here. You see, here's the first position. Here's the second position, and here's the third position. We can put A in the first position, B in the second position, and C in the third position. There is one possibility, or perhaps B will be in the first position, C here, and A here, or Perhaps A would stay here and C would come here and B would come here. These are all three different possibilities. And all of these three possibilities, all of these three, uh, I was about to use the word combinations, but I did not. The word combination has a very specific meaning in mathematics. Don't, don't, don't use the word combination loosely. Don't use the, word, the, the verb combine loosely in mathematics. It has a very different, very specific meaning. So let me use a different word. These three arrangements, not combinations. These three arrangements are three distinct arrangements because of course it matters whether A takes a first position or A gets a second prize or A gets a third prize. And just because all three people appear here in all of these three arrangements does not mean that they are the same arrangement. They are obviously different arrangements because different people are getting different prizes. In this case it is called permutation. In permutation, permutation permits repetition. It's a repetition. A, B, C, A, C, B, B, C, A. It is the same people, same three people being put in a different order. But that's exactly the point here. Order 
matters. How you arrange things matters in perm permutation, which is why permutation permits repetition. Repetition of the people, repetition of the object, and so forth. On the other hand, if you were simply ask how many different ways a group of three people can be given, a, given an award, that's a different story, which is the part two, part B. We'll, 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 we'll get to it when we do. Let's finish, finish this up here. So because, because how you arrange things matters, then the question is, how many different ways can we put somebody in this spot? Well, how many people do we have? Eight contestants, there you go. We have eight people, which means there are eight possibilities. We can put eight different people. First prize, in other words, the first prize can be given to eight different people, eight different possibilities. Once the first prize has been given, once the person, person has been chosen for the first prize, obviously the same person is not going to get a second or third prize also. Which means for the second prize, we have only seven possibilities, seven choices. Once you have given the first prize and once you have given the second prize, now we only have six people left. And therefore, that's it, that's your answer, whatever that is. Whatever that happens to be, that's the answer. Uh, should we do it out or should I just leave it like that? Should I be lazy? Eight sevens are, well I know, I know seven sevens are 49. 49 plus seven is 56. So it's 56, 56 times six. Six times six is 36, so carry six. Okay, 36, six and carry three. Six times three is 30, so it's 33. 336 ways. I just want to make sure that we have the right answer. Give me a second, I'm going to turn the pages and quickly check here, problem number 10, 336 is what we get exactly. Now, here's, here's part B, here's part B, let's say we're done with part, part A, the answer is 8 times 7 times 6, let's do part B. How many different ways can a group of 3 be selected or something to that effect. Something to that effect is what they're asking in part B. How many different how many different groups of three people can be can get prizes? How many how many different group I'm reading from the book here, how many different groups of three people can get prizes? And I said it, how many different ways can a group of three be selected? Same thing. So watch what happens here. Here, once I've chosen A, B, C, whether it's A, B, C or A, B or or A C B or C B A these are the same people these are the same three people and that is a group that group consists of three people A B and C therefore these are not three different groups it's just one group it's a group of three people the group being made up of A B and C how the group is comprised and what the order doesn't matter because we are asking you group of three people well the group of three people A B C is one group how many such groups are there who can get the award? That is what we are asking right now. So let's find out. Let's let's find out. And this is where this is where combination come. This is where the notion of combination comes into it, which is why I want you to watch this video if you have not done so already. Don't memorize the formula, okay? So here's what here here how we go. So there are how many different ways we can fill up first position? Obviously, eight different ways. How many different ways can we fill up second position? Obviously, seven different ways. But watch what happens. Watch what happens. A, B, C, D, E, so on and so forth. Once we pick A for the first position, we can put B, C, D, all, all the way, whatever it is, all the way up to whatever it is. And then here's B, A, C, D, E, and so on and so forth. What happens? Once we have chosen A already, and then in the second position we pick B, then we cannot count this B and A again as a distinct group. It's the same group of two people. The only difference is that first time around A was picked for the first position, and B was picked for the second position. In the second, in the second arrangement, B is picked for the first position, and A is picked for the second position. But it's the same group of two people. We cannot count that as two distinct groups. Every single, every single pair is going to be repeated. Every single pair is going to be repeated. We're going to have AC, we're going to have CA. We're going to have AD and we're going to have DA. 
we're going to have AF and we're going to have FA. Every single pair is going to be repeated. Repetition is not allowed. A pair FA is the same as a, a AF is the same two people. So we have to take whatever this amount is, we have to take half of it. We have to take half of it. By the time we pick the third person, how many different ways we can pick third person? Six different ways, just as before. But by the time we pick the third person, everything is going to be counted three times. Everything is going to be counted three times. Which I'm not going to go into right now because I don't want to keep doing it over and over again. But this, this is why, as I keep pointing out here, uh, to watch it and understand it. By the time you pick the third person, everything is counted three. Everything is going to be counted three times. For example, for example, A, B, C. Oh, actually, we did that. I showed you a little while ago. A, B, C, A, C, B, and B, C, A. You see, it's counted three times. By the time you pick the third person, once we have chosen, once we have chosen two people. By the time you pick the third person, every arrangement is counted three times, so we have to take a third of that. And that's your answer. Your answer is, our answer is, eight times seven times six times two times three. And of course, two times three is six, so it cancels out of this six, and we end up with eight times six, which is 56. Now again, one more time, I'm repeating myself. I keep repeating like a parrot. If you still feel, if you still feel that I was just brushing it off, this thing, and I just simply threw this in your face as to why I'm dividing by two and three, I cannot say it enough, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to watch from the very first day, day 57 and 58, it will take you one hour of investment to understand the concept behind it, then watch yesterday's video, which is another half an hour long video, to understand the concept behind it, because that's exactly what we're doing here. Once you've met the investment, once you understand the concept, you'll be all set for a permutation and combination. Okay. That, that was the end of that part. Tomorrow, on day number 94, well actually I'm going to give you tomorrow's homework right now. It is a problem, it is a problem that is not in the book and because it's not in the book I want you to give it, I want to give it to you right now. I want you to work on it on your own. Make sure that you work on it on your own before you watch the next video. So here's tomorrow's problem. I need the room. Where can I put it? Let's put it here. This is the problem for tomorrow. Three people are to be picked. This is a bonus problem. It's not in the book. Three people are to be picked from a group of five people. Three people are to be picked from a group of five people. Let's give them name. Let's call them A, B, C, D, and E. What are the odds? that both A and B will be picked. That's it. Very simple, very straightforward problem. Work on it and find, see if you can find the answer on your own and then watch tomorrow's video and then compare your work with the work that we're going to do together, you and I. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.